Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these two volunteers. They must do science all the time. They're already wearing safety glasses. Wow. All right, I'm gonna put my safety glasses on. Here we go. Awesome. All right, now right here with me, I have a plastic bottle. It's got a tiny bit of liquid in the bottom, but other than that, this bottle is full of what, you guys? It's full of air. Now, air is a gas that's made up of particles that are too small for us to see, including tiny drops of water called water vapor. When the water vapor in the air cools down, that's when a cloud is formed. So we are going to make our very own cloud right here in this bottle. Step one, we have to start with a the liquid. There's a little bit in here. I'm going to add a little bit more. All right. There we go. That should be enough. Now step two, this liquid has to evaporate. That means it has to change from a liquid into a? Yes. Into a gas, all right. Step three, the sun heats up the surface of the earth, which creates warm air. Which way does warm air go, you guys? It goes up. All right, we are going to be heating the air inside the bottle using a bicycle pump. All right, yes. We'll talk about that in a moment. Step four, the air cools down, which means the water vapor in the sky cools down, and as it cools, it turns back from a gas into a, into a liquid that's called condensation. And finally, step five, our condensated water molecules adhere to particles in the sky, and a cloud is formed. All right, that's the science. Now we're gonna show it to you. So we're gonna start using this pump to increase the pressure in the bottle. Now pressure is the force that air exerts on its container. Why don't you put both hands here and give it a few pumps? Excellent. So as the pressure of the air goes up, the temperature of the air also goes which way? It goes up, that's right, excellent. All right, volunteers, switch places for me. Why don't you come over here and give it a few more pumps? Awesome. So pressure goes up, temperature goes up, we are going to get vapor in here. All right, well done. That is perfect. Okay, you guys ready to see if this works? When I release the valve, the pressure in this container is going to go down really fast. And when the pressure of the air goes down, the temperature of the air also goes which way? It goes down. And remember, that makes it cooler. The water vapor in the air will condense, and hopefully we'll see a cloud. Ready? Three, two, one. Thank you. 